Okay, today we're going to showcase the Genesis handheld directional. Now we have these on our website and we also have the Genesis uh, VP directional and the Genesis VP. Same basic radar but the batteries are built into the handle on the Genesis VP and the VP directional. But we start off with the power button, we push that momentarily and it powers up with all eights. The test button, we push that and it goes through a series of tests and shows 15, 30, 45, 60 and pass. The fast, we're going to put that on so we're always showing the fastest car in the pack. So if I start reading cars right now, I'm reading one at 52, but there is one in the background going 61. And that's probably the car going the other way at this point. Because I am reading both directions with this directional handheld. As long as I as long as I'm squeezing the trigger, it's putting out radar energy, and when I release the trigger momentarily and squeeze it again, I lock in the speed. So just that easy. If I want to lock in that 58, I release and hit lock, and there it is, 59 going away. That was that semi. Notice I'm still picking him up way down the road. This radar will pick up about as far as you can see. <coughs> there is a menu here that you can push through and you can do the backlight on. Audio is set on eight. Sensitivity is six, that's the maximum sensitivity. And then squelch is on. And this is printer port, if you were gonna use a printer and all of that. A lot of things in the menu there, which you can read the book about. The big thing you're gonna use your men menu though is on this, toward and away. If I push the menu momentarily, I get toward and away. But if I push the select button repeatedly, I can select between toward, away, or both. Toward, away, or both. So now I'm just going to select cars going away. The directional is away. So I'm picking up that white car there, but the car that's next to him is not going to show up. Just the car is going away. And now I'm going to hit menu again and select toward. Oh, these are only cars coming toward us. So we got this one car going really slow here off to our left. Now we got a semi out there at 55, but notice I'm ignoring all the cars in the right lane. So that's the nice thing about the directional capability of the radar. It's basically you can pick up one direction or the other or both. So I'm going to put it back in both, toward and away. So when, I've, when I'm sitting like this, I'm not putting out anything. If I want to pick up somebody, I squeeze the trigger and then lock him. There he is, 42, just as, before he can put on the brake. We've set off his detector, locked him in before he can hit the brake since the detector is going off. So we got instant on on this radar. Now we're picking up those cars way down the road there. But what we can do is push, squeeze the trigger and then lock him. And just that quick we got him locked in and we only had our radar on there just for a split second. And that's to defeat radar detectors. So there's no radar detector out there that's going to be able to defeat this radar because of the instant on and the fact you can lock in a speed that quickly. Thus ends the end of the Genesis handheld directional radar by Decatur. Okay, today we're showcasing our portable radar and laser battery pack. 
has an on-off switch on it, features a lithium battery that's probably five times the battery life of what you're going to get in your handheld laser or in your handheld radar if it had an include, included battery pack. Uh, all you got to do is plug in the radar to this cigarette lighter plug to power it on, switch on the on switch, and this is also the cable basically that you use to charge it when you get back home. You plug the AC adapter into that and it charges the battery back up. Very lightweight, you can put this in your back pocket while you're shooting a uh, laser like with the Pro Laser 3 if you don't have the internal battery handle or you got any other handheld radar that you want to use outside the car but you don't want to go out and buy all the proprietary batteries and that kind of thing to power the, the radar or the laser. We sell this for $95 on our website, which comes with the cables and everything you need to operate it. To charge it, simply switch this off, unplug the laser, plug in your AC adapter to that, and leave it, let it charge for a few hours, and you're good to go again.